Hi, I'm Marnie Alton. I'm the founder of Embody by Marnie Alton. Welcome to our Well and Good Trainer of the Month Club. So we're going to be doing this workout today in my Los Angeles studio. And fun fact, we use color therapy here. So I wanted to bring that to you at home as well. So today we're going to be using violet. Violet is the midline of the color spectrum. So it combines the flowing sort of healing nature of blue with that fiery power of red. It's a really special color. So you can kind of imagine it in your core and glutes throughout this whole series. So today we will be doing about a 15 minute low body series. No equipment is needed, not even shoes. There will be some optional jumps just for a moment, so if shoes are better for you, feel free to wear them. Otherwise, shoe-free is great. We'll be coming down to all fours about halfway through, so have something to cushion your joints, a soft surface or a mat, whatever feels good for you. That's about it. Let's go. Start by shaking it off. What you want to do is practice the release of tension. Tension steals energy, and instead replace it with oxygen, with breath, with movement. Inhale your arms up. Exhale your hands down. And as you breathe in, think of your diaphragm muscle, the rustle right at the base of your ribs. Inhale up, opening into your abdominal cavity, making more room for that air. And down. Two more times. Inhale the biggest breath you've taken all year. One more big breath. Let's create some heat. Turn your feet parallel. And little vibrations, little runs, just showing you from the side. Lengthening your spine, push your sit bones back. So today's focus is the low body. So if it's right for you, bend your knees more deeply, awakening your leg muscles. Eight counts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, release. Step out, now drop your hips. Push your sit bones back and forward. We're practicing getting to know your body. So you're moving with a bend from your hips rather than from your spine. And what that means is your abs are braced and the movement is a little rock into your heels. From there, jump for eight. One, two, land really lightly in your feet. Again, impact is always just an option. Hold, step in. So we go slow out and then back and out and back, really opening across your lungs. One more slow, now just straight out. 16 times here, we're at one, two. Be mindful of how your center of gravity shifts, how your body weight shifts. If it's leaning into this outer hip, let this right arm help guide you back to your center line. So a little more reach over to your right. Then from there, leg back and up, 16 times. So your standing leg is building muscle and bone density, eight more. Your moving leg is activating your stomach, detoxifying your organs. That's seven. Pause, lift up. This inversion helps to bring blood back to your upper body from the low body. So there's no stale air pooling in your low body. Eight more lifts. It also creates a dynamic stretch on the musculature of the leg that we were just working. Seven. Now bring your leg down. Enjoy that stretch up. Step your feet to wide second drop. So in our balletic wide seconds, one of the unique things in this type of bar work is how elevated your chest stays. So there's not a forward incline. It's upright. Bring your arms out. Stretch and reach. Open across your chest. And then once again, you get the choreography into your body. See if you can add your spirit. So you want to really expand to your full potential. Eight more counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, now just press back with both your knees and your arms. So the limbs of your upper and lower body pull back. As your navel pulls in, your chest pulls forward. Eight more. Two, three, four. 
catching the outer gluteus medius. Now from here, arms up, pulse 16 times. So right here is where we're looking for that fire. You're at five, either pushing deeply down in your heel or pop to your toes. Last eight here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lower your heels, rotate. Bring your hands down, step back. This front leg steps forward between your palms. Your hips lift, drop, return. Step, drive through your heel. So getting to know that where you touch the earth affects the entire muscular chain in your body. So it's called a kinetic chain. It's a chain of reaction. So when you push your heel down, it's more activated through your back leg, two more. And press. So we're both opening up and strengthening. One more. Pause here, lift your leg up, down, one of eight. Now, adjust your hands so that you've got wide fingers and soft elbows. Your palms are spread just a little bit wider than your shoulders, seven. Keep your leg up, flex your foot, little rotations of your knee inward. So the idea is kind of like you're turning a doorknob in towards your opposite leg. It's not large, so if you can see, the motion's quite small, but it's really unique and powerful. This inversion doesn't happen as much in most of our daily lives. So it's a cool balance for the low body. Eight more. Two, three, four. Add an exhale, and you'll get a little extra oblique work as well. Now lift your leg up twice, and kick your heel in twice. Repeat that up, up, in, one way to really keep out of a collapse in this opposite supporting hip is to push down into the toes, the metatarsals, which are the bones of the top of your foot, up, up. So with this opposite leg, you're feeling that you are rooting down into the floor, not collapsing into your hip. Two more. Up. Be mindful that your knee hasn't turned out. It's still parallel and squared. Then in, in, pull your knee in, stretch. Now, to modify, if your stabilizing hip is getting a little sensitive, you can simply bring your leg down, lift that knee, and straight back, lift. That's the modification or option to that full abdominal spinal flexion, eight more. One, think about that squeeze of your glute as your leg stretches out of your hip socket. Two more like that. Exhale out your toes. Hold there. Flex your foot. Come to your opposite forearm. Then bring your knee in. Press back. Exhale on the extension. Eight more than your last thing. One. So your inner thigh is rotated to the floor. And this shoulder, this right shoulder, is soft and pulled down away from your ear. Two more. One more, hold, point your foot from crown to toes, you're long, lift up, up. Exhale. The power of your mind, the way it connects to your body. So the dancer is constantly observing the body. Last 16 counts. So feel in your dancer's mind that you're lifting your leg, your straight leg, from the muscle on the outer corner of your glute, last eight. Two, and if you can't quite catch it, maybe bring your leg just a little wider. Five, six, seven, one more. Press to a downward facing dog. And then from here, walk back to your feet. Round up with soft knees, catching your spinal stretch. Return to your wide second posture. Down and up, lower down. Up, option, add your arms four times, so reach. Pull one of four. Nice and low, so we're warm and connected. From there, step side, center, side, center, side. Stretching those outer gluteus medius muscles, four more, then we return to the turned out second. Two, we're at three, and four. Now land and wide second, just pulse. Last 16 counts. One more option is to releve. 
Remember, you can always do this wide seconds, close to a stable surface like a ballet bar. Last eight here, two. So you could bring one hand to that surface. Five, six, seven. Lower your heels, rotate the other direction. Bring your hands down and step back. This front leg goes forward, lift, down, back. Forward, lift, down, and back. Once more, recognizing that dominant press into the heel and letting that energy come up your back leg. Lift and lower for more. And once you get real comfy, three more. Work more on lifting your tailbone and almost swaying your spine. Then lift, one more just like that. And stretch, pause here. Lift up, flex your foot, little rotations in. Spread your fingers wide, soften your elbows. When your elbows are locked, it kind of creates a locked sensation all the way up into your neck and jaw. Eight more rotations. So softening your elbows can give your muscles permission to do the work so you're not feeling the strain. Bring your leg down, up, down, and up. Once more, there's always that option to rock for just a moment off your stabilizing knee to allow for some blood flow so it never feels as though you're pinched or collapse on your stabilized side for more. One. That's two. Concentrate on pulling your elbows down from your ears. Hold there. Up twice, then kick your heel in twice. Now we've really worked the parallel. And just know, it's supernatural to need to continually refocus on that position. That's why we did those internal knee flares, those flares that kind of turned the doorknob towards your center line for more. Because what we want to do is make sure that all the work that's done in these series support you, create balance and in. And that internal rotation, as I said, isn't as commonly practiced unconsciously. Now full range, point your toe in, up. The modification is to go back to that little rock of your knees while still stretching your legs straight. So it can be down, up, that would be the modification. Slightly smaller range, so that beautiful glute lift or full range, one of eight. And two, feeling that rounding of your back. Exhale, violet light out your toes. Feeling that balanced energy through your whole low body. Pause there, lower your arm, flex your foot, knee in and press. So if your leg is too far behind you, then you might feel as though it's challenging to catch that outer glute. And a cool thing to play with is make sure that your leg is just outside of this front shoulder. One of four, then our last thing. Two, that's three. Hold here, point your foot and lift. This is the end. Activating the strongest muscles in your body your core muscles, your low body, your glute muscles. Last 16, you're at one and two. Your primary focus is that feeling of elegant extension. How much space can you take up? Last eight, one, two. Higher with your leg, four, soft with your jaw, six, seven, release to child's pose. Take a breath and let the breath swirl around your low back. Think about little pockets of your body where you can inflate balloons. And then exhale, allow them to deflate. Roll yourself back up. Come to one side. Bring your upper leg back behind you. And then roll onto both knees. Lift your chest. This low arm is directly under your low shoulder. And both your palm and your heart are opened up. Squeeze your glutes. Feel the opening across your upper legs and hip flexors. Tuck your chin and roll back down. Take that same leg across your body. Drop your hip, lift in your chest. Flex this foot to honor and protect your knee. Raise your arm up 
and twist. Imagining spirals, ascending, lifting spirals. Take one more breath and on your exhale, ring out from your center. Come back, legs to the other side, other leg behind you, reach. Open up, tuck under more, and take a breath. Come back down, bring your leg across your body. We unsure that we stretch, both to open the muscles, to lubricate joints, to allow for the healing nature of blood to flow through the body, for waste to be removed. These twists help with that removal. They help to decrease inflammation. They help to massage the vital organs in the abdomen. Twist more. Unwind. Cross your legs. Inhale your arms up. Exhale your hands together to prayer. Bring your prayer to your heart and take a breath down into it. Feel your heart that keeps beating even when it breaks. Bring joy and love and gratitude to that space, to that organ. And as you inhale, share it. Share your heart. Beam it forward. Expand. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to the earth and remember that she will always catch you when you fall. You'd have to be scared of stumbling. Open your eyes to the sun. Follow the light. Have such a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good. And if you're looking for more workouts with me, you can find me at mbody online. We'll see you again soon.